Lady Adia. Welcome to a brand new episode of Let's Cook. My name is Chef Rukaya and I am your host. Today we're going all the way down to Mexico. I'll be revealing the name of the dish right after the short break. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Welcome back guys, the dish for today is chicken quesadilla. Chicken quesadilla is a taco like dish. When I say taco, don't, don't think it's the foreign shawarma. It's your shawarma wrap, basically called tortillas, all the way down from Mexico. Let's go to the market now, get the ingredients and start cooking. Assalamu alaikum. So we're here at the store to get the ingredients for the chicken quesadilla. So for my chicken quesadilla, the first thing I need is my kidney beans. Kidney beans are red, very unhealthy, pretty sweet, and the fresh ones are terribly hard to cook. So it's best to get the ones in can. Let's go get the other ingredients. And our green and red bell peppers. I'd like to have boneless chicken breast, please. So we're here at the Halal Meat Market. Halal because they're Islamically verified food and they're safe for consumption. Now we're done getting all our ingredients, it's off to the kitchen and let's cook. Welcome back guys and we're back from the store. We got our corn tortillas, kidney beans, cheese, chicken breast and our ready diced bell peppers. We have green and the red here, tomatoes chopped, onions chopped, garlic, chili flakes, and it's time to get cooking. The amazing thing about making quesadillas is that it's pretty easy. It doesn't take so much time. You have your chicken here. I'm just quickly going to just chop this, dice them into really fine, large cuts, and season salt, garlic. Now we have to turn on the heat and start. As usual, you know your oil has to come up to heat before we toss anything in it. Quesadillas happen to look like burritos, but they're far from it. You know, your burritos are being wrapped, but your quesadillas are just folded and cut into quarters. Okay? Oh, did you hear that sizzle? It's amazing. Okay. Be careful around hot oil, people. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to toss in our onion. Put in. Piece of garlic. I'm not going to toss in the bell pepper now because it's what should come last. It doesn't need to be on fire for too long. The things that should be on fire for too long are like your onion, the chicken, and also please do not forget we're going to use kidney beans. 
kidney beans should you know should probably cook for a very very long time but if you buy the ones in can you know you're almost there